Hello there, Shirley Rocks here. Welcome back to Mars. So, it's good to see a few of you uh, decided to uh, check out this new series. So, let's have a little recap. We've landed on Mars. We've currently, we've only got one um, EVA suit station uh, at the moment. So, Victor and Hull are going to have problems with breathing unless we keep micromanaging it. Um, uh, just going to address a few of the comments on the video. So, um, yeah, uh, MBF Gamer would say in about I might need a smelting bench um, to make components. I think I am actually going to need that eventually at some point. I'm hoping I can make components. I don't know with the tech tree if I can. Um, I, I should imagine things like... If it's going to be, I don't know if it's going to be the microelectronics I need for building that or if it's something else. To, I'm pretty sure I can make components though. Um, I can't see it. Oh, there we go. We've got components assembly. So that's going to be a long ways off. So we're going to need the high tech research bench. So we're going to need the uh, multi analyzer for that and microelectronics basics. So that's a fair old way away just yet. Um, that also deals with um oh, actually no 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 um mbf gaming was talking about the smelting bench the smelting's for making the auto iron so yeah i'm definitely going to need that um the electric smelter i'm definitely going to need that because i've not really got an awful lot of stuff and if you look at i didn't really touch on that in the last video but if you look on this video i've actually only got a total of uh four ships on the way uh, I'll, I'll touch on to this. This is a, this is a little bit interesting. I also addressed the comments from uh, who was it? Yeah, it was a uh, ANCAP for the win. Um, talking about components. Now you can manufacture them yourself, but you can actually get them to send you them. So if you, if you see here, my second uh, ship that's on the way is actually a supply run. And if you look at this, I'm getting literally no colonists, but I am getting uh, food in one, I'm getting material in another, I'm getting um, a thing of uh, materials there, clothes and stuff. Uh, well, yeah, clothes and pickaxe, I'm getting food and I'm getting components. Now, this is actually a little interesting twist to it because you can actually do your own ships now. So you can see, I've got one on the way, I can't do anything with that. I've got another one with colonists, four people are on the way and a little bit of um, materials as well and you can actually choose a uh, configuration now this is quite interesting because you can do build Ooh, you can do build ship but i've only got four ships on the way so i don't know if i can send oh you can right let me see can i skip this all right skip Oops, I think I bugged it. So, let's see. If I unpause that, can I actually get rid of that now? Oh, construction complete, launch success. Um. Oh, that was really quick. All right, so I have actually got another thing of, I think, <laughs> I think that's bugged maybe. I, I appear to have two of the same spaceship coming, which is not possible. Uh, yes, yeah, so you can choose between crew and cargo. Let me see. Can I suspend that one? I can suspend it. That's interesting. Well, that, that's going to make a little interesting uh, twist to the series because I don't know if that uh, configuration is actually going to come now. But anyway, you can actually go on this and you can click what you want. So if you wanted, you could say, I just want uh, materials. Um, I want care packages and care packages you get an unknown thing so that that that's quite interesting I'm, I'm, I'm really interested to see what comes in one of those uh, if you just wanted materials you could literally go along to it let's see so I've got materials there then I've got people so you could say for this one you could just change it to materials for every single one or you could do food uh so you you have got quite a few choices it's like for instance this here the um materials and pickaxe and stuff i could go you know i don't really want that i want to get um let's see i want to get an extra thing of materials and i don't want any food 
Uh, I could just have materials for every single one. But it depends on what you want really because I, I quite like the um, the packaged meals that you get. That is quite a good variety of meals you get. You do get 255. So I think I might, might leave the tools on that for now. So we've got materials, food, tools, materials, materials. They, they, seem, they seem very much high amounts there, which is a bit disconcerting. But, I, I mean, I have got it set on really high uh, speed. So, anyway, let us actually unpause this. Check this out. So, you've got 32% charged. You've got 13% charged. So, I really could do with another um, EVA suit. So, let us have a little look-see. So, I'm going to need six components for that. I believe I've only got... 13 in total yeah such a limited thing i don't I, I do i do feel like that um one of these suits isn't enough though uh because he's gonna run out of oxygen pretty soon yeah, he's only 11 percent. in fact let's um let's go and refuel his suit Let's see. Is that gonna refuel? No, it's not gonna refuel. See now that's a bit of a that's a bit of a swizz. It's because he's in bed. Right. Let's get him into his suit. Right. Default name. Right, here we go. Right, NDVA. Okay. Undraft you. So you've got 44%. As you can see now, that's really low. That 11% uh, were on that one. And what about Victor? 65%. Victor's just stirring. Into... What? Okay, yes. I guess that's confirmation. I am in a snowy sec sector. Uh, a couple of you were pointing out as well about uh, building the old uh, entrances. Because I have got like a quite a severe amount of entrances at the moment. I could actually just have one entrance, which is a, a good little uh, good little idea, really. Uh, in fact, I could just delete that and delete that once these walls are shored up. Um, I'm just I'm not happy with this, so I'm not having enough components. So I think I'm going to go ahead and build another one of these suits. Uh, also, another and someone else had commented about. Um, linking up my uh, lunar module sorry i can't remember who exactly you were at the moment um so linking up this to the rest of the um the business so we can connect the gas pipe up to that and hopefully that's going to give us a bit of um a bit of a charge boost okay and we're going to connect it to that as well so that is good to go in a moment so we've got water we've got lots of air coming in let's see how the air levels are in this at the moment uh we're on f we're actually uh optimized air there at the moment so we're waiting for these walls to get finished waiting for that to get finished how long does that take 22 percent come on build it faster right Gonna dig in here and do our secondary exit here. Someone wants to dig that, so that'd be smashing. Right. Come on. I know one of you wants to dig it. Can you dig it? Okay, I'm digging at the ore. It's always really slow at digging when you really want to do it quicker. I'm going to put an iron uh, airlock here. It seems really quiet. It feels like I'm uh, I'm t I'm, <laughs> I'm, t I'm talking really loud and there shouldn't be. Right, iron. There we go. Another little bit of iron there. That's... Uh, Get as much as we can. Okay, here we go. Once that's dug through, we can then dig through into there. Not just yet, because in case Hull decides to get other ideas. There we go. Nice. Okay. 
So we now need to get this constructed, which Powell is getting on with doing. Lovely jubbly. Let's get a little bit more iron over there. Deconstruct that as well. <coughs> oh. Ah, now. Cancel. Have you just seen the um, the problem with my uh, amazing building planning and coordination? Let's build it right in front of the door. Yes, well done, Charlie Rocks. Okay. What is Victor doing? Victor's on the treadmill. Hull is not really doing anything. Right, waiting for that to get charged up. We're on 60, 56%. Let's, uh, let's get a suit on. Go forth and explore. Or preferably go get a meal. Okay. So I think it's about time we got a bit of a storage room going on. Uh, I was originally going to do this as a um, food resource. So let us look, take a little look. So to do food now, it's a little bit different. We need to do this. This is the uh, moisture pump. Now, who? Now we could have a, we could have a problem with this because the way of growing, which I'm gonna try and do, is using the natural light uh, from the skylight and heaters. Now, I have got a grand total of how many components have I got left? I've got seven. Okay, that takes five, and. They don't take any, they take steel. So we should be okay. I wanna try and find a place to stick this so it's gonna be properly inside. So let's mine this little bit out first. Actually, let's, uh, let's leave that little bit there. Still, I'm still, no matter how long I play this game, I always forget about falling, falling in roofs. I just wish it was an easy way of just having a visual indicator of how much roof is actually left. So we're going to fast forward this. And I think we're going to start um, digging in on the inside. Now, I'm trying to think long term with this. So if I'm going to make that the food room, I think I'm probably best off making this into a big old ass storage room. So let's see how much pollen have I got left? Got 125 polymer, so that's that's a quite a nice uh, chunk of polymer. Uh, each polymer is five. That bugs me the fact that the polymer is looks like aluminium there, but it's black. Um. So we're gonna stick a polymer wall over here. We're gonna mine all this iron out, so I might as well get this stuck up properly now. I'm going to try and do a big room. So we're going to use a natural wall there. So yoink across there like that. And I'm just going to bring this down nicely like this to there. Um, and then we're going to do, we'll do it an internal door there. But we'll wait till we get the walls up first. Okay. Because... I just know you're going to get sick. Yeah, I, I knew. I was waiting how long it was going to take before somebody sealed themselves in. I was just waiting. Waiting for that time. I thought, just wait and watch when Powell or someone... Oh, okay, then that's that's why you're not doing that. We need that set to um, auto rest. And that one is set to hab habit area. So we'll do that for that one as well. And... how? Who's got the less oxygen? You've got 20 odd. Come on, break for freedom. Dig for the wall. Dig for freedom. Dig for freedom. Oh, how embarrassing. I'm trapped in a trapped in a rocky cave. <laughs> Just go to bed. Go What do you mean you can't get to that? Oh, that's because this this is cla that's classed as a um a solid mass, isn't it? Oh, that's stupid. Um, hmm. Well, that's a bit of a predicament. 
Right, let's let's cancel that bit then. There you go. Build that back up again. I think you'll find that you should really be going to bed now. Even though your fitness levels are going down. Go on. There you go. Finally, it's charging. Okay, and they've gone to bed. So, it's going to take a lot uh, a lot of extra effort to do a lot of this stuff, which is a bit of a, a bit of a pain. So, ideally, we want all this built up. Uh, then once that's built up, I can then dig into it and start doing the storeroom down here. Um, I, I think that's pretty much full now, so let's uh, give you a suit. There you go. Okay. Building a snowman. Excellent. E excellent waste of time. Right. Get that all sealed up. Okay. Uh, let's check out the uh, roof situation with it. So, there's quite a lot of uh, wastage in there. Um, I do now need to sort of go back into there and do a door. Uh, I'm just going to do a standard inner iron door for now. Okay, speaking of iron, we're probably nearly run out again, so get some more. Room O2 low. Ooh. Ah, that'll be why. Because the roof is open down here, so... All of this roof area needs building. There we go. Okay, let's get all these bits sealed up. So, let's dig into here as well so we can seal that bit up okay waiting for that suit to charge up a little bit more let's pr let's prioritize you over here okay let's get you to come back out because you probably need food okay now that hopefully should solve the uh, air situation in here. This should start going up now. 6%. Yep, it's going up. Okay, so we're going to dig this out a little bit. Then we're going to go and stick a moisture pump down. Okay, so I want to I want to contain all of this in here. We're gonna we're gonna have a bit of wastage with the entrance there, which means I can either go screw it and miss all the corners off here, or I can dig further in up here and have it right near the edges. I'm tempted to do that, but it does mean I'm gonna need to reconfigure the shape a little bit. Uh, we're gonna make this we're gonna dig this out a little bit better so that we can actually see where we're actually building it. But I do want to start getting some of this stuff inside because it's starting to deteriorate. Nice. So as you can see now we've got two suits uh, charging. Let's check out Powell. He's quite happy with his suit on. Well, with his suit on. Now that one there is nearly charged. So we can actually say to Powell. Um, ooh. Well, that's awkward. I wanted uh, Powell to have that suit. We might. I'll tell you what I could do. Let us do, at the moment, let's switch it around a little bit. So let's have one of these. Let's check these out. I don't think any of them's got the Night Owl trait, but we're going to... Uh, we're going to see if... No. Nah. Is there anyone hates anyone else? No, they'll get on. Right, let's have a look. How many men and how many women have I got? So I've got... I've got two men and a woman. So let's put the woman on the night shift away from the 
lecherous spacemen. So we're gonna do anything during the uh, day periods when everyone else is sleeping. And then we're gonna have a sleep in in the day. There we go. So that she's she's basically gonna uh, be an opposite shift pattern to all of those, so that I can utilize the uh, three suits. We appear to have a power problem. Hmm. How the heck are we out of power? So we've got that chucking out a thousand watts. Let's check out the power. Is that connected? I think it's connected. It should be connected there. So that literally has got no power stored in it at all. My... That is using a lot of power. Let's toggle that. You know what? I think it probably would have been a good idea to have built some solar panels. And I, <laughs> as luck would have it, I've only got enough for two. But I've not got enough for batteries. Let's try one solar panel and a battery. And where are we going to stick it? I'm trying to save as much uh, power as I can. I could, I could hook it directly into that. But I'm going to try and hook it into the... I'm going to have to hook it into there, aren't I? Um, oh, this is awkward. Um... Right, let's cancel that. Let's try. Let's try and put it down here. I don't think it might make a difference if you have it really close to the building. There we go. Let's try that. And you get building that as soon as you can because... We're freezing and we're not actually recharging the suits at the moment. Let's see who's got the most rest. Uh, I'd say Hull. So let's go and get your suit on. Plus it is actually a uh, protection as well from the elements. We're in your suit. Launch success. Crew are on the way to Mars. So I'm just trying to cut down the power at the moment, so I'm going to flick a lot of these power things. Oh, come on. Everyone should be a flicker. Get that turned off. I don't need O2 in that just yet because no one's actually in there, so... Go and flick my switches. Hopefully that's going to kick in and take over the power. Can you flick that one as well? No showers for anyone. Now, does that use power? That shouldn't use power. So, what is using... Oh, we've got enough power now to charge up again. Phew! I was hoping I was going to have enough components to build a... Um, a battery. I thought I had two left. don't appear to have any more components. Well, that sucks. What about the Pathfinder? Today, I think I disassembled that in the first video. Just looking for any components. Nope. I don't think you actually find components in this one. They're not just in the, uh, the rocks like in the vanilla game. So we've got some... Oh, look at all the sweet components over there going to waste. Never mind. Oh, you know what? We've not built... We've not, if we had a stockpile, we wouldn't be having this problem. Right. Let's do a quick emergency stockpile in there. Right. Hull. Get hauling. Look at all these sweet, sweet components we've got. And there's us struggling. Struggling away at life. Right, so 
That means we can put some batteries down. So let's get a couple of uh, batteries down. And I'm going to do them over here, but not too near the... the not too near that. We're going to connect those up, though. And connect it up to that. And maybe I might feed a wire out to that. We're just using it as an emergency backup at the moment. Okay, Vita is just doing nothing. Why are you doing... Surely there's enough power for those. Why is there no power coming in? Right, power. Conduit. You should be getting power. Um, it says I'm not actually connected to any power. That's outputting a thousand watts. Okay. So where's my thousand wattages going? That's turned off. That's not turned off. Flick that power. Right. Is that going to solve my power? Not particularly. It's charging up now, but... That is weird. That did not seem to be solving my power problems uh, then. Powell is off hauling steel to the conduit. And it's a good job, really, because I've not actually got any near. Right, Victor is up and awake. Let's start his EVA off, because it's full again. Okay, I'm sure there's some general dog's body work you can do, or you could just cloud watch. Whichever you feel like. Okay, now we have got a stockpile there. Ooh, don't be having major breaks. Okay, that suit is nearly charged up. Now, I don't think I've built too many joy activities at the moment. We've got a treadmill, but we could really do with a, a horseshoe pin. Let's stick that inside. There we go. A nice treat for Powell there. Okay, looks like that suit is nearly charged. Are you coming inside? Is it shift change time already? Right, come on, Victor. Let's uh, get that suit charged up. Okay, 90%. That's nicely charged. So that is short at the moment of steel. Okay, so we're going to dig that out. We are going to hopefully put the moisture pump down. Then that means we can get the uh, growing done. We need to put a production table down for the soil. Uh, that's going to cost uh, 75 iron, so we should have enough for that. So let's just get this dug out. Going as fast as we can. Still getting these little power, these little power shortages. So we do need to connect this up properly to all of this. So let's, let's connect it to that there. Cancel that bit. Okay, that suit looks like that's nicely charged up now. So when Victor or Powell wakes up, there we go. Let's put the suit on them, first of all. And go and build stuff. Okay, we're actually getting stuff hauled inside now. Victor is wasting my, hot, <laughs> my tomato sauce there by the look of it. Okay, accident. Powell's had an unfortunate accident. Oh dear. Is that a crack to the jaw? <laughs> what? I don't know what's been going on there. Right, so. 
We want to look at the moisture pump now. Where can we put this? So, I can stick it up here. It's going to stick outside. It means I'm going to have to expand a little bit. So, say if I do there, I'm going to have to expand all the way over here. Which will be a bit of a pain. But it means I won't waste any uh, space. Now, the only thing that is worrying me is if I dig this area... Let's do a little experiment first. I've got a feeling I can't install skylights. Oh, I can. Oh, I thought, brilliant. I thought I couldn't install the skylights there because it was going to be um, in the mountain. But looks like we can. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to stick that down there. And then that's going to get built. And then once that's built, then I'm, I'm going to start digging all around here. Uh... The only thing I don't like about that is the fact that you, you click on that and I can't actually see the radius that I need to build at the moment. So the only way I could get around that, I suppose, is if I had that there and I sort of note where it's going to be. So it's sort of going to be over here. So yeah, I'm just going to have to wait for it to get built. Anyway, that's it for this video. This has been a, a fairly productive video it's gonna take it's gonna take a long a long while to get this base set up and that's before we even delve into things like uh water and o2 production uh we've got 220 meals to last us at the moment and we have got a ship on route we've got two on route um we've got one that's arriving in six hours and another that's arriving in seven is that th that's because this is on the uh, the fast mode so Phew. Uh, thanks a lot for watching. Hope you're enjoying this new season. And that's it for this video. So I'm Shirley Rocks. This is Rimworld Mars. See you next time.